This video will show you how to create the bedroom shown in the image. Enter the workspace and click Create a Design. Select Draw a Room, then click on the canvas to start drawing. If you need to make adjustments later, select the wall and enter values in the input box. Without selecting any walls, adjust the wall height option in the red right side panel to change the height of the entire room. Select the walls and set the height of both side walls to 1100 mm. To create the slope ceiling for the attic room, these walls must be shorter. Enter the interior modeling interface. At the top, select Guidelines, click on the ceiling edge line, and enter the distance from the edge at the bottom. Use the same method to define the center guideline on the wall. Continue using Guidelines, click the Start and Endpoint to draw a slope guideline. Extend the guideline to the exterior wall, and repeat the same process on the other side. Select the line to LK to draw segments and connect them. Connection is necessary to form a face. Use the Extrude tool to extrude the drawn face toward the opposite wall, or enter a value at the bottom to extrude to your desired position. Adjust the view to the wall where you want to add windows. Use guidelines on the slope surface to mark out the areas for the three windows. After confirming the positions, use the line tool to draw each window area one by one. Use the extrude tool to push the window faces outward to create window openings. If you continue the command, just double click. Press S to cancel the command. Double click the model and choose Group to group the elements together. Next, Draw the window frames using the line tool to close the openings. Choose Offset to offset the selected area, 
Then delay the inner parts to keep only the frame. Use the extrude tool. Enter a value at the bottom to keep the frame thickness. Repeat the same process to add another layer of frame for more visual depth. Go to the lift category and choose a suitable material to apply to the desired areas. Use the line tool to draw the location of the glass panes. After drawing, use the extrude tool to give it a thickness of about 10 mm. Double click the glass to group it. In the left category, select the glass material I am applied. Finally, press Shift to select the frame and window together. Then click Copy and choose an endpoint to apply the copy to the other window openings. Press S to cancel the command. Once completed, exit the current interface. Next, we'll complete the interior layout and decoration. In the left category, select the door and place it into the wall, adjusting its position and size as needed. Click the wall and open the baseboard option in the right side panel to replace the style and material. Next, select and place furniture into the room.
Gold the finish category choose a suitable wall paint and apply to the walls. If you want the slope ceiling and walls to have the same color, use the top material brush to sample and apply the color. Click the top render button to generate an image of your project. Set the resolution, scale, lighting template, and environment. Click edit environment to adjust the environment angle. Click Save Current View on the right side to save the perspective for future use. Finally, click the Render button at the bottom. Open the album at the top right corner to view your rendered image.